This is Lee with Crash Test Hobby showing you how to build the Widowmaker which is a 37 inch high performance flying wing. These are the thing, parts you'll see in the kit. Start by cleaning the cores by rubbing them together or shaving them with a regular razor. Get the small fibers off that come from the cutting process. Using a hot glue gun with low temp hot glue, glue the cores together and we now need to install a spar. We're marking back six and a half inches from the nose of the plane. Spar is 20 inches long. And this spar will give strength across the center portion of the airplane. Make sure the spar is straight across the wing by measuring back from the uh, nose of the plane on each side. Then take a razor blade and cut a half inch deep slot across the wing. Put baking soda in the slot because it will act as a catalyst for the thin CA glue. Sand the spar just enough to take the shine off and press the spar into the slot to where it is uh, under the surface of the spar. Now if I didn't say this, this is all on the bottom of the wing and uh, the bottom of the wing is flatter than the top. So center your uh, marks on the laminate that will hold the motor and also tie in the spar and use your motor mount to get the right distance to the back of the plane. Mark your glue area, put glue on the foam. Do not put it on the laminate or it will cool before you can get the two pieces together. Glue the laminate in place. One of the great innovations is a shock cord which keeps the wing from splitting between the elevons in a forward collision. To do this, make a half inch deep cut around the perimeter of the wing where you're going to install the cord and this is done with a brand new sharp razor blade an old razor blade will snag the foam and make a slot for the shock cord to be inserted the cover, uh, baking soda is again put onto the shock cord for the same reason and this is a new thing we're showing with this set up is that we've actually got the string running through a small brass tube and the brass tube will feed the string right into the slot. This is much easier to do than doing it with a Phillips screwdriver but the old Phillips screwdriver uh, guiding it into the slot also works well. Once you've come around the wing tighten the string and tie a knot to secure the string in place. Make sure that it's not pulling out of the back of the wing. Now you need to be aware of fumes. When you're putting this much CA on a plane and you have baking soda, there will be some very irritating fumes come off the model. I usually will do this outside or with the fans and the ventilator running. But CA glue the shock cord in place with thin CA glue. Now we're applying the bi-directional reinforced tape. Usually this is Scotch Extreme Tape by brand but we start from the spar and go forward to the nose of the plane cutting once again with a sharp razor blade so the fibers don't snag and putting the tape clear to the front of the plane. This extreme tape can take extreme amounts of stress uh, it's rated at 150 pounds per inch and it makes it so that the foam won't tear and the foam itself by nature won't crush and between the two you have a very indestructible plane. We're now going to flip the plane over and on the top of the plane we're going to apply a piece of tape across where the spar is on the bottom. This uh, gives good tension strength to the model and adds a lot of uh, rigidity. And then we're going to put a piece of the nose. The reason we don't do the place in between is that's where your radio is going to be installed and the tape is hard to cut through. We're now going to put tape along the leading edges of the wing and this once again is adding incredible strength to and impact resistance to the plane. One thing you always need to be careful of when you're building your plane is that you don't start putting a lot of tape and laminate and other things behind the center of gravity. 
Center gravity is at 23% back of the total wing area roughly on this plane. So that means 75% of your plane, including the motor, is behind the center of gravity. So you need to constantly work on keeping the weight forward if possible so that your plane will balance. Once again, we're wrapping the leading edge with the tape. Uh, because it goes around a complex corner, it adds more strength than if it were a flat piece of tape. Trim the edges and uh, we will be applying laminate soon over the, uh, the top of the tape. Thank you for watching. Uh, other videos will show lamination, radio installation, electronic setup, and even installing LED lights. This is Lee from Crash Just Hobby. Thank you for watching.